Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk about how my skin has been damaged over the last three years living in Hong Kong and Shenzhen and what my dermatologist did on my face during a recent trip to Korea. So here in Hong Kong, we have a humid subtropical climate with the highest recorded temperature being around 39 degrees Celsius in 2017. So as soon as I booked my flight to Seoul in July, I messaged my dermatologist and booked lasers and other treatments that would help recover my skin and look better in the long term. To give you an idea of what was happening, um, over the last three years, my face was getting more red easily, my pores were expanding from the heat, and my face was like a chessboard dotted with acne scars, age marks, and sunspots. Um, I have a combination skin, which means some parts are dry and some parts are oily, so it's already tricky to handle without all these conditions. The first laser I had was to reduce the amount of redness that I had on my face and I think that symptoms called rosacea in a professional term. I'm constantly exposed to sweat and heat that's expanding my capillaries um, and the clinic recommended that I get at least three visits every two weeks and added that this will help reduce the expanded capillaries and will be effective for about a year. I do see my face less red in the morning um, and I don't have to put foundation on when going for brunch or something. Um, so I do look more lighter color skin than before. Because the second laser shot I got was removing skin blemish and acne scars, which is basically lifting any unwanted pigments left by stimuli. This was also recommended to do every two weeks. Uh, so I got to do a rotation every week between this one and the rosacea laser. Um, the last one was slightly more cosmetic than the previous two, uh, which was a skin booster. The one I got is called a Regeneron Healer, and it's, it's an injection of an ampoule made of a substance called polynucleotide, or PN. It's different from Botox because PN is a fragment of a DNA extracted from salmon milt. The company that made it say Regeneron helps to regenerate skin tissue, make our skin thicker, um, which ultimately reduces wrinkles and brings back the skin to its younger form. Now, this was a tricky one because it's not an injection that you get in one part of your face. Um, the dermatologist injected this all over my face, maybe a half a centimeter to centimeter apart from each other to make sure that the fluid goes deeply down into my skin and evenly spread. This included the most sensitive parts of my face, like on my eye bags and nose, around my lips, um, I did apply an aesthetic cream one hour before the treatment, but I swear to God, this was the most painful surgical procedure I've ever had in my life. I cried the whole time and I had to pause every two minutes. I noticed that my pores, especially on both cheeks, were noticeably smaller and my makeup was flawless with just a few strokes of foundation. I actually mixed this with Botox to enhance the effect and make it last longer because I was coming back to Hong Kong. But because your skin can grow tolerance to Botox, they recommended doing this maybe three months, um, every three months if you're mixing with Botox like me. But if you are just doing the skin booster, every two months or one month is also fine. So it's been around three to four weeks since I got back from Seoul and I'm very, very glad that I got them done. For me, the rosacea laser, I paid around 1.3 million Korean won for three sessions. This is about 8.5K Hong Kong dollars or 1100 USD. The pigment removal razor was around 770,000 won for three sessions. This is about 5,000 Hong Kong dollars or 650 US dollars. The skin booster was 660,000 Korean won, including the Botox. In Hong Kong dollars, this is around 4,300, and in USD, this is around 580. So in total, I spent about 2.8 million Korean won, which is about 2,300 US dollars or 18K Hong Kong dollars. I know this is already a lot of money, but remember I was cramming everything I can in this short period of time to put my skin back into a healthy range. Um, I knew it's so much more expensive in Hong Kong. Um, and I'm sure you can find similar treatments here, but they do some good stuff in Korea. Out of curiosity, I made an inquiry last week to these dermatologists and skin clinics in Hong Kong. Um, injections similar to Regeneron, but using filler was around 10K Hong Kong dollars just one session. 
Um, an LED light therapy called Dermashine was around 14K after discount. So you can imagine how much more it would have cost me to get the same kind of effect um, in Hong Kong. So I'm not too sure about the redness treatment, but pigment removal was definitely worth it, as you can see from my before and after thumbnail. The skin booster, I would love to do this again as the effect lasts for about two to three months and I'm very happy with it. Um, but it would be very challenging for me to actually go to the clinic after the pain I felt last time. So in my next video, I'll show you guys some home remedies and products that were recommended by Korean skin clinics as the most effective way to gain the similar effect instead of going to expensive dermatologists. Bye!